Hi everybody, this is nutritional consultant Michael McAvoy. I'm very excited to announce my four-week webinar course titled Fundamental Blood Chemistry Analysis. This is a course designed for clinicians and healthcare professionals who are interested in understanding how to use a routine blood test to identify problems in a person's body, problems with their patients or clients. And there's so many different tests that exist in the market today, urine tests, stool tests, saliva tests, so many different uh, fecal tests. There's so many different types of tests to use. And what I want to say is that blood chemistry, if interpreted correctly, is one of the most valuable, fundamental, and relatively inexpensive tests to use to get a lot of feedback about what's going on in a person's body. And so in my busy nutritional consulting practice, I've taught blood chemistry to other clinicians. I've interpreted many hundreds and hundreds of blood tests over the years. And I always find that routine blood chemistry is just a highly valuable um, biopsy to use. So this four-week webinar course is going to be packed with vital information. It's going to teach you about some of the problems with conventional models of blood chemistry analysis and how when you begin to look at a blood test from a, a functional perspective and you use more narrow reference ranges rather than the, the laboratory ranges, when you start applying these principles, you start seeing patterns that emerge that are giving you a lot of insight and information about what's going on in a person's body. So I want to list a number of um, very important physiological factors that a routine blood test can provide. These include um, liver function, and we're going to discuss all the different factors related to liver dysfunction, meaning um, liver um, dysfunction, liver cell damage, biliary stasis. Um, then renal function can be identified on a blood test due to the function of the kidneys. And these are largely influenced by the balance of electrolytes, as well as, in certain instances, the amount of um, blood urea nitrogen. A blood test can also provide a lot of information about electrolyte and pH activity through the CO2 and chloride values, as well as the electrolyte levels. And um, not to mention, a blood test can reveal information about hydration and dehydration to see if, if in fact, the cells are, are well bathed in, in um, various fluids that need to keep the cells hydrated. A routine blood test can provide information about digestive functions. Many people don't know that a routine blood test can provide information about uh, whether a person has low gastric acid or possibly um, markers for gastrointestinal dysbiosis. A routine blood test can indicate if a person is consuming enough dietary protein or whether they may need to actually restrict their consumption of dietary protein. Um, a blood tests can reveal various factors about blood sugar handling, how well a person is able to mod mod modulate their glucose levels. Um, very important if you're uh, hypoglycemic or possibly have a tendency towards that, or um, also if a person is hyperglycemic, their blood sugar levels are too high. Another thing that a blood test can reveal is activity about adrenal status. And this is actually something that can be obtained by a variety of different factors on a test, such as the electrolytes, but also various blood proteins can provide some insight into adrenal activity. Thyroid activity can certainly be monitored on a routine blood test. And we're going to definitely talk about some of the disadvantages of using the um, conventional models of um, now analyzing thyroid activity because of the, the lab reference ranges are often too wide and they're just statistical averages. So additionally, um, a blood test can reveal stuff related to um, anemia, iron deficiency, B12, and folate um, status. A blood test can re reveal things about um, inflammation and anti-inflammation, and a lot of that is revealed through the lipid panel, you know, the, the triglycerides and the total cholesterol, HDL and LDL. And then various factors related to immune function, the, the breakdown of various white blood cells, whether we're talking about the eosinophils or the neutrophils or the lymphocytes or the basophils, and um, other factors in the, the blood, other morphologies in the blood, such as the, the white blood cell count, the red blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, these are all going to be discussed in this course, and we're going to go um, we're going to go into all of these things. Another great advantage of this course is that you're going to receive 
upon um, registration for the course, you're going to receive a 75-page clinician's manual that I authored myself titled Fundamental Blood Chemistry Analysis. It's going to cover all of the functional reference ranges on the test. It's also going to look at various factors um, related to uh, additional testing that may be warranted if, uh, if blood chemistry results are out of range. For example, you can use a blood test to determine next level of testing. So if you're identifying the possibility of adrenal or thyroid or endocrine related issues, you can um, use a blood test to say, hey, I think it may be a good idea to do um, a hormone test. Or possibly if you see markers related to gastrointestinal dysbiosis on a blood test, you may be wanting to recommend to your client or your patient that they do a comprehensive stool test. So um, this clinician's manual is going to give you a little bit of insights regarding these things. Another thing that you're going to receive when you sign up for this course is you're going to receive these really high-tech Excel spreadsheets that me and my staff have been working on for the last um, few months. And these spreadsheets are going to, um, basically, you're going to enter in the test result data and it's going to flag it whether it's high, low, or possibly borderline and out of range. And then additionally, we're also working on having other Excel spreadsheets that are going to tag specific levels of function that may be problematic when, when we're looking at a specific um, sets of, of factors on the test. So overall, this is going to be just a tremendous course. It's a four-week presentation. It's going to be eight hours of total material. And um, you're going to love it. You're going to have so much takeaway information. And whether or not you have any experience with blood chemistry interpretation, it makes no difference. By the time you're done with this course, you're going to have a lot more information about a blood test, how to interpret it correctly, and how to provide a basis for making a legitimate and successful uh, nutritional protocol based on these results. So I'm so looking forward to doing this uh, webinar series. And... Um, uh, yeah, so feel free to sign up at the registration link that's provided on this page, and I look forward to having you in the course. Thanks so much.